30 years back and our friends at Manscaped.com have got a masterclass to get you ready for the new season. Manscaped have just released the Performance Package 4.0 which is a revolutionary product for men's grooming. 4.0, it comes with all revival. Let's get all of that revived. All toner, you've got to get that toner on your balls. Most of all, the Lawnmower 4.0. This thing is incredible. It comes with a light. You can hear that buzz. Listen to that buzz. Can you hear it? it just goes, slides through that ball hair, or your ass hair, or your body hair. You can see right there. Just look. Look at that. Just look at that cut. Ooh, brilliant. It's also got skin safe technology, so you won't have to go to the hospital or somewhere because you've cut your balls. This thing is extraordinary. Also comes with Manscaped boxes. Find the two million men worldwide to use Manscaped and use the code RYANLFC, I repeat, the code RYANLFC to get 20% off and free shipping worldwide. Again, thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video and your balls will definitely What's up guys, welcome back to the channel guys, your boy Ryan LFC back again guys, I need a top shelf video for you guys today, I have a special guest on the channel, Taxi, what's up, welcome to the channel brother, how are you doing? Thanks for having me brother, you know, just there, I'm good, you know, you know I'm at the event training today, I just got to home, so, you know, just relax time right now for me. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to come share your journey with Ryan LFC family and stuff so how's the family doing and everything family is good in our know, family you know, in new york right now um, everybody's all right wife the kids you know everybody's doing well you know miss them every day but you know the work i go on you know and, and i choose a job i'm choose and because of you know covid and everything that's going on right now they can't be here but you know that go you know, for me facetime work and whatsapp call and <laughs> Yes. Yeah, kids in kids them is very important, you know, yeah. especially as a footballer, where sure. you know a good look distant away from them. So even the phone call is very important over the phone they see a face, you know. Yeah, especially you know uh, that we have uh, we have about, about six months now. We have uh, we are recently had a newborn, you know, a boy the other day. So it's you know it's difficult you know for him, for him to be going like six months without you it's like you don't really know him much but every time i go up on the phone with him every day i try to go up on the phone with him from him see me he's like him know me and you know that smile that kind of brings a different joy to your life you get me because the kids are motivated differently as a father you know different so even when you have bad days at training or you know just things not go right sometime when you reach back home and you see them man you know, them playing with each other, them run and come hug you up. It, it, it make you feel different as a man, you get me? And that that's something where I feel like you can never replace. You get me? I say, so, you know, that's that's missing from my everyday life now, you get me? But as I said before, you know, we just, we just have to deal with it. Totally agree as a father myself, you know, especially in these times. Not our generation. Our generation, you know, grew up without a father and it's yeah. like nothing but no, no. You know, the youth them need them father. They need yeah, a father. More than ever. More than ever. Yeah, facts. Facts. Yeah, so. But guys, before we jump into the question, I want you guys to go and check out Cards Plug. Use the coupon code Ryan LFC to get 10% off to get FIFA card. You can get your favorite Jamaican player, Leon Bailey, Taxi. And Jay Blake. It's very cheap, so you know you can get your Jamaican logo on your club that you support. So make sure you check out cardsplug.com. Use the coupon code Ryan LFC. Everything will be down in the description. Come on. Yeah. My first question to you tell me a little bit about your childhood life growing up. <laughs> uh, there is no little bit, you know, that still there is a whole lot, but um, yeah, the make it uh, as short and as direct as possible um i was born at jubilee hospital um right right like 10 minutes from you know my community 
that I grew up in, um, my community was Central Kingston. Like literally a walk across a bridge from Southside where I went to Holy Family Primary School and where I started to play for Raytown FC. But rather than just growing up, my whole family, you know, mom, grandma, uncles, everybody was, you know, from that community. Everybody grew up in that community. So I so I was raised in that same community. I went to primary school and, you know, then from there went to Donald Curry. But everything started from that, that from that community right there. So how was it financial growing up, going to school? Bro, you know, my mom and grandma did what they, you know, had to do. You know, you know, you had days without, days without lunch money. You know, days where you know we could afford dinner. You know, but growing up, I understood. I understood from very very young that it's either one way or the other. Cause when you grow up and as like a nine year old or eight year old, you're seeing like violence and a lot of things happening. I feel like you know it brings you to a understanding faster than faster than a you to a grow up somewhere uptown. <clears throat> you know it brings it brought me to a faster understanding like yo this is life. You know, and you have two route. You know, either you're gonna choose this route or you're gonna choose that one here. And for me, like, I quickly kind of understand, say, so, oh, here what? You know, anything where won't let me lose my life, you know, anything that won't let me follow a gun part, you know, that's that's the route where I'm gonna try my best to stay on. Because growing up, I saw a lot of friends, you know, died. A lot of friends, and I mean, a lot, a lot of friends that are good friends died. You know, growing up, I lost my house to fire two times. You get me? So, different obstacles that, you know, different obstacles, obstacles that I had to overcome. But, you know, my grandma and my mom, you know, they were always, you know, there. Plus, my three uncle, I'm just pushing and making sure that. You know, I wasn't the one, you know, to, to go down these routes, you know, because no matter what, after certain hours, my uncle always pressure me, yo, leave the road. You get what I mean, I say? Yo, you know, see, past your bedtime, look, you're the only youth out here after this time, go in. You get what I mean, I say? And those things why people might think small, it, you, know, it, it, you know, it does a lot for you because you have some kind of male figure. You know, around while well, I had a lot of friends who were just you know, dip on the road. Their mother at work and they were dip on the road, up and down, this and that, do whatever they them feel like. And in some way, I wanted to do that. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm just happy that my uncles were there to kind of just curve me. And plus, my uncle them used to play football. So, in every way, basically, I was just following them footsteps. You know, and you know, for me, it just work out. And, and people ask me, you know, a lot of times, like, would you change <clears throat> the way you grew up? You get me, and I, you know, and and I said, no, you know, I would change things around the way I grew up. But the way I grew up was like, even in poverty, or even in not having it every single day, there was a happiness, like in the ghetto where. I can't find anywhere else. You get me? You go anywhere else, you don't see that. There was a vibe, a different kind of living, you know, where being in the ghetto teach you a, it teaches you a lot of different things. You know, it teaches you, you know, how to appreciate people, to love people at the same time. You know, what kind of people to stay away from. You know, what kind of crowd to pick and choose from. So when people look at ghetto, the people might just try to look at a hundred bad things, but there's a lot of good where you can pick out from, from it, you get me? And, you know, for me, you know, I just run with the good that I had, you get me? And at the same time, I, I kind of just curve my mind to, like, 
to understand sometimes you're bigger than the environment that you're at. You get me? And to see yourself excel, you have to come out of that environment and meet new people or put or put yourself around people where you know where are trying to go to places or people that already made it, you know, so they know how to get there. And I felt like, you know, I'm just kinda you know, I just do some things the right way, you know, and pray will leap too. Because I'm always, I'm always I try to stay pray, prayed up no matter what, you know, pray will leap. I feel like um you know, God just bring me to a completely different level of just understanding, you know, just understanding where I need to be, understanding how to get there, you know, and understanding people in general. At what age did you start to play football? Where I play football from about three, four. Every day I used to play football. Three, four. When I started playing football seriously, though, it was when, or, or I can't tell you exactly when I decided to say, well, football I'm going to play. I'm going to look back. But I'm about nine years old. I decided already. I tell myself, say, football I'm going to play. I don't want to do nothing else but play ball. You get what I'm and, saying? And that was when I you know, I was going to Holy Family and as I said, my uncle and play ball every day. Uncle and everybody where I grew up, everybody knows my uncle and was two of the biggest baller. But my uncle and just never have that opportunity. You get me? They never have, you know, that club there, that where them can go and really make it out. You get me? So I watch my uncle and play every day. I'm there every single one of my uncle them training session after after I leave um school, do my homework or whatever I need to do. I just go watch my uncle them, um, and then them take me aside and them always I do some kind of training with me, you know. And I may never get tell people a lot about my uncle them yet, you know. But my uncle them always, you know, was involved. So around to answer your question, though, around nine year old, nine year old, when, you know, when I read, when I think that was like fourth grade, yeah, fourth grade, something like that, you know, in all the family, you know, I really decided to more and play. I know all the family is a big school, winning a lot of trophies, win anything. Yeah, I'm win, um, I'm win Premier League. Yeah, I'm win Premier League two match. I remember how much time I won it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think I win two Premier League, um, MVP, leading goal scorer. At the time I play like um, left, left um, winger, left, left midfielder, something like that, I play. So I win Premier League was two time I think MVP um and I was the captain when we win. So yeah, so win he's, he's a band leader leader from a young. So who was the coach at the time? Um Gen one and only general, um Sir Ikesman himself. Wow. Yeah. So you meet up Irish Kelly. You ever meet up Irish Kelly? Play Irish Kelly two times, beat them one time, draw one time with them. Okay, that's the primary school I attend. Yeah, so I'm in grade. Five, so I'm... Be them, I'm in a five grade, I'm gonna reach um, sixth grade, I'm tied with them. So, if it wasn't for football, as you say, at a young age, you're locked in at the age of nine. It's football, it's football. That's all you think about football. And at that time, when you're, when you're nine year old, Football was a lot of people were saying, "This you have to get a skill, you have to get an education." That was my skill, yeah. That was your skill. Yeah, that was my skill. That was my um, focus. Remember, I'm still after go school. <laughs> no matter you how believe much you believe in, in your, you believe in your talent, and yeah, you have to get a little bit. It's not fun. even. It's not even the talent, you know, as much as. My understanding say, um, I would have to work for really. Do this if I really want to do it. You get me? Because growing up, I wasn't the most talented player. You get me? My dad friend were wicked and, my, you know, family were wicked, wicked. So I wasn't as talented as them and skilled on the ball. But I had a um, different, like, intelligence to the game where I can't read the game where them can't read it. And me, can, me I see things where... They must see it when it happened. I always I see it before. So I always I look on the game and up on a way different level of, different from them. You get me? So this now is what I kinda just always I used to my advantage. 
And this is one of the reasons why I get to start love defend. You know, because even centre back, I love centre back. Because I see everything before it happened, I watch every play and I know what to do. So it wasn't that I was the most skilled player, you know, especially at those times. But part of it is because them are the skilled player, them always feel like them not for work, it's hard. So my always are outwork them, but done this side. I say, all right, I realize we're not gonna run for 70, 75 minutes, you know, but I go to 95. You know? Yeah, man, I go to 95 minutes, man. I not stop running, I go to 97. You get me? I say, I go to 100 minutes, non stop running. Because I say, as soon as I train, I do my always have the extra. I always have to find a different level. You get me? And from my young I just realize, say, yo, I'm kind of the bless to not have the same talent as a lot of them. You get what me I say? Because it because them so talented, it just make them feel like, yo, you know, man, I have to really work as hard to do this or do that. You get what me I say? And, you know, that that was a lot of, you know, a lot of them don't fall in terms of why them not really make it out in a football, I feel. So, you play in the Manning Cup for your high school, DQ? I play a couple matches and stop. I always I get DQ I always I get too much beat now, but this I, I, I really decided that I didn't want to play. <laughs> but no, honestly, honestly, I love DQ. And I could have gone to KC or, or any other school, you know, at the time. I could have got any school or play money come for any school. I had grades, um, and basically any school that take me for come play for them. You get what I say? Um, but I did love DQ. Really, really love DQ and but did have my friend them already where I know them from seventh grade from just go DQ and I decided that like yo you know, just to play money cup nah I'm not, I'm not gonna lose because me and my, me and my friends are right now are the closest and at the same all of them are from DQ. <laughs> but 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 taxi at yeah. that time still money cup were the big thing. Exactly, but at that time so when wait, money, and you or well, you don't get carried away and you want to leave your friend to go play in the money. Oh, no, brother, because at the time, at the time too, when I come back and I play money cup, um, a lot of people I know, I was, I was in Vancouver, you know. I was going to school in Vancouver. I went to school for a year in Vancouver and I was playing for Vancouver Whitecaps. There, I was in their residency program. Yeah. Before you get to that, because I want to talk a little bit about that, because I do my research and I want yeah. to ask how that come about, but I want yeah. to, you know, pay attention a little bit from the earlier yeah. age, because people need to know this. They see the success and, you know, so, yeah, we will we'll get back to that. So I want you to pick up back from that. But yeah. talk, talk to me about um the Manning Cup. As you said, you, you play a little bit of Manning Cup and you didn't yeah. want to leave or go KC or one of the big Yeah, um, at the time, you know, KC coach, you know, you know, was telling me, like, change school, you know, um, come in, we do everything to get you here, you know. And I talk, a couple other coaches, you know, reach out to me and I talk to them. But at the time, you know, me and my friend, them grow so close and I talk to my grandmother about it because I'm a grandmother, I'm ready to talk to every, everything about it. And at the time, remember, I got DQ above you, the right there, sir. You get me, I say? And my already, they kind of in an in above you program. And I get integrate, um, may I get involved in other under 21, them time they in a, in a above you, which is next to the um the Premier mm-hmm. League. You get what me, I say? And I just made the decision, you know, me and my grandmother talk. And man, she said, the decision of your and she said, Money Cup is a big thing. Um, but it's it's up to you where you want to do. I'm just making decisions. Say, um, no, no, I'm not playing a man in come. Make it, make it stay. You know, after the couple matches, I'm gonna play for the EQ. I stop, I stop. I tell him, say, yo, I'm not, I'm not play. Me, I just focus on. Uh, Still the taxi. We kind of last taxi a little bit, guys. Forgive us, you know. So he will be back. I'm not hearing him. <laughs> oh. Just leave it one time. I 
So it go guys, sometimes you're using your phone recording and stuff and you know you get a call and then it just messed up the whole thing. But we will definitely have taxi back in and stuff. You know? Not hearing you. I think you should leave and come back. Yeah, so we last taxi. I hopefully he can jump in back and stuff. I know you're going to jump in back, but guys, the topic, the interview is just getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Kemal Lawrence have over 50 care for the reggae boys. So let's bring him back, Kemal Lawrence, and see if we can get it. Yeah, man. my daughter come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured yeah, that. I figured yeah, that. Yeah, I go, but... <laughs> sometimes when I get a call, yeah, it, it, it play a role and miss she just come up on my iPad to me after I said, Mama, I'm so cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, understand, understand. No pressure, guys. No pressure. This is not no TV, J, or nothing. This is just YouTube, and we're just being yourself, and we are enjoying ourselves. So box, box. don't worry about it, guys. This is reality, and these things happen in life. So, yeah. Box. Pick up back from where you are. But before you talk about, you were um, at the point, say, you leave DQ, you didn't want to play anymore Money Cup, but you still were going to school because DQ were very close to Arborview. Yeah. But before that, before that Arborview come about, talk to me a little bit about your home team, Rayton. You Ray play Town. for Rayton. Yeah, I'm a play for, I played for Rayton for... 2003 to 2007, is that correct? Yeah, something like that. Or probably like 2004 to 2007. You know, yeah. I, um, yeah. I was, you know, because I coach Ike's man. Yeah. Same you know, coach from primary school. Yeah, same you coach from primary school. You have to give yeah. him back. Yeah, it's the same, same coach. So at that time, that coach I do everything. Bro. You know, every single player, you know, love that coach. I love him coaching style. You know, how him treat me as um, young, like young, him treat me like young adults at the time. He have so much respect for we he never make it feel like um him, him bigger than we in a no way. Even though him, him even though him coach so much um player would turn big player. He used to coach Teddy Johnson, he used to coach Claude Davis, um the list go on, him coach no him, him, him coach over like probably twenty, thirty like player will make it out and turn big top player, but player will represent Jamaica. Really, really good coach. So at the time, I just decided to make a play, and we had, we had kind of like the same team and move out of primary school. Yeah. We kind of had that same team, and you know the guys were just sticking together. And uh, and you know my play a rate on, I never win no a rate on. I think um the closest I ever come for winning a rate on um under thirteen, and then um make it to semi final, and I think maybe ever beat me a semi final, and. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna decide to make a leave like after that and go. Um, actually, Central Kingston, you know, was 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 a team that was trying to get me to come play under 15 and under 17 for them. Right after I was about to leave Rayton, and you know, decided no because meet with Ludlow Bernard um um from Arborview and Ludlow see some game and Ludlow say um, said to me like come Arborview you know I'll take care of you and make sure say you know, you're all right, you know, and develop your, your, your talent and your skills and, you know, or make you into a better player. You know, and as I, again, I talked to grandma about it and grandma said, yeah, she feel like, you know, a time for move from out of the environment. Eh? You know, go somewhere where them can really nurture, nurture what you have and, you know, make it into, you know, what you really want it to be. And, you know, that's how, that's how I really made a move eh? Definitely, and you do great thing at Abbeville Football Club, but you make it to the Jamaican national team under seventeen at the time, under twenty. What's the difference with the young player playing for Abbeville and Portmore? They get more opportunity, or Abbeville just more act professionally more than Tivoli and boys too. Yeah, have a, honestly, I feel like you have like a more um, professional attitude. Um, um, where the uh, where the people them on board kind of take and try to like 
show the players them like yo this is the way to go you get me and at the same time um more eyes is on like oh, up you want to put more because the numbers of players that have left before you and gone overseas are true that club them come so more eyes from overseas is on the club you get what i'm saying and then the coaches where the coaches that them try to get is always like a really really good coach you get what i mean say a coach where you hear him name there and you hear him name there is not you know it's, you notice it's never just like a just a regular coach i'm always i try to get somebody where like all right we, we hear that name over here you know that coach i used to coach yes sir. you know so it, it's always somebody with some kind of history or some kind of background of even winning yeah. you know the person i come from a winning background you get what i say and i feel like the the competition between you being at uh Tivoli under 20 and I have you under 20 the competition much higher because the best out of best player them try them best to go out of you yeah at one point I close to play for out of you and I was close to play for your hometown team Reto yeah. when I just leave Excelsior I leave high school and I think the left back where you just play for St. George's and him and him slim man but I didn't I, I don't remember him name man Keke Keke, Keke, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keke is the one who was bring me Messi, Xavi, that are um from Rima, because I am from Rima. So we have a few player. Keke, Saint George is at the time a few player where come from Raytown, where play yeah. for the Raytown under twenty team man. Look who most more gonna play for Raytown, and also when I went to Abbey with the chain, this is what I know Abbey is. They just you can't just turn up and chain like oh. go out of you and turn up and chain. Oh. And when Lord Lord said to me, um, why are you leaving Boyston? Why you want to play for Abbey? And I said, more opportunity here and I want to play amongst the best player and stuff. And I said, No, just stay at Boyston and like Kareem Banton and the rookie brother them that the priestly brother them from Abbey. I was very close to them and I said, No man, how are you, man? Because at one point, I was uh, when I was going to Excel and I play Manning Cup. I have a big mutual part. Yeah. You know? So, I'll, and just the community different. Just the community different from yeah. the Rima. You know, from the region, you know, it's just a bit more of a uptown feel, you know? <laughs> yeah. And the breeze yeah. just nice. Yeah. And play, yeah, for real, for real. For real. So I just, I just, as I say, I just like, the environment it just make you feel, you know, a whole different. Like it is somewhere different. You get what me I say? The way the way you see the coach, especially when you see the coach and when the staff, them man, just the way them act. Yeah. You know them just them just bring a level of professionalism. You know. And um, it, yeah. And it, if risk. you're a scout for two taxi, if you're a scout and you come to Jamaica, you don't know nothing about on it and above you. You just come to watch Tivoli and. Abbeville. You can just see the difference with just all the players them cry themselves on the field. Yeah. Different from the Tivoli player. You can yeah. see a discipline, but we're not going to put down Tivoli. It's just, no, it's just no, the facts. It's not, it's not, you know, you like some people that just have it, just watching the thing and just have it the wrong way. So we just yeah, have to straighten it and make them. I know, I know. It don't have nothing to put down because, you know, some of the best players them will ever play for country to come out of Tivoli. Come from Tivoli. On it, got it. Boy stone, so it's not put down, it's just facts. And that did that happen, just I, yeah. yeah. I, I just that did that happen, and that was the thing that was in everybody's mind at the time, you know. Our view are the best because of everything they do, the way they dress, you know, the way they carry themselves, you know. At one point in our view system, everybody had drive, come on, training. You see me? Everybody a drive come a training, drive come a match in them Premier League team and no other Premier League team and have everybody where a drive. Yeah. And if me? they not drive, the bus a pick you up and all yeah. Of them. yeah, you know the bus a pick you up for come. I remember train. taxi. I remember <laughs> you. I remember you very good in the because at some time you come pick up Virgo down a boy stone. Then I call yeah. you. Yeah. Always a. I be I put out the hand and I be yeah, it's a vibes man from long time. <laughs> and me not even in the dressing room. So me can yeah. imagine if me they in at the dressing room when you come a boy stone and stuff and Michael Michael can be usual dash a whole heap, you know. 
Michael Taxi, I know a lot about the local Premier League because I started to watch it very young. You know, I started to watch it very young. You see, in 2009, when, like, you have Kevin Lee and me and the Harbour View and, yo, listen, I know, I don't know, I, I don't know what happened to the Premier League. This is your story. I don't want to take over the thing, Taxi. Yeah. But, you know, real reason. But... Do you think the Premier League lack quality? Because when I look at the Premier not League 2008, no, 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 not lack quality. I would say like name player. Because 2008, 2009, 2007 come up. When I look at Tivoli Gard, you have but check six. It. But now I'm going to push it. Check it. What did um, Money did I run in the league? People happy. Players happy. The field them did look better than all them look now. So that yeah, improved the quality of play. The treat like you got used to go to Tipali Field, Tipali Field look nice. Boy Stone too. Boy Stone night. Nice. How about you it's spanking? If you go down uh, um Sporting uh, Central down there, so, nice. nah. so different, brother. And you know, true. people are invest when people are investing in the league, money did I put in at the league, the player them feel all right. Like sponsor on you guys. Like that sponsor, you get what me I say. That shift, no, everything shift. The feeling you can't go for no feeling train in Jamaica. None. I true. I true None. because uh, you're right, you know, taxi. Because when you say money is very important, because when you look at Arnett Garden, they have um linked some of them players playing for Tankwell. So they get Tankwell was giving them a good good money different from yeah, playing football. However, <laughs> um Waterhouse was linked with Tankwell because you know they are the manager and they have the, the 95. So everybody, when in that time, when the Premier League were playing, they were having a good job. They're in yeah. a good business also. They get good money from working and then they come and play the football. So the quality, as you say, it come back down to the same thing. You have to treat the player them and you get result. That's but, the biggest thing. Brother, when you're investing in your player, brother, like, I want to do the best. No matter what, I want to do the best. You know, you bring out the best in him, no matter what. You get what I say? So, that's the thing we did that happen. You get me? So, you get a better level of football in every way. Play them now for their... Play them... You know, people still have issues, but the less issues. You get me? As I say, field quality of Jamaica right now, I have a lot to do with the league. See, if yeah. Jamaica can just do what they're supposed to do for the field them and get get some feel one at a time yeah may, may, may i suggest me i say we we'll get some artificial feel you get me i say get some artificial feel clear the game plan artificial feel if i say it i got improve the quality then the man them can really really show who them is when have the man them plan some dirt ball act like you know the man them can show it because every pass the man them make the ball them are bungs everywhere. I'm still got Jamaica got train. Anytime they see me have RCs at Jamaica I'm train. I'm gonna train it all about you. The same. Train it all, you're not gonna know me out there because I mean all of you gears are trained with them. Yeah. And I and I summer train every single time I do my training, I'm gonna gym and I get ready for my new season. Or you think I stay up for it? No, I stay up for it, but I'm not every time I get a break of Jamaica. Man. Yeah. Me, I want to play them probably spend the most time at Jamaica. Because me get break, boom. Yeah. As as I break, reach me, me, me reach home. Everybody know that about me. Me not, me not itch. Me gone home, me gone do my training at home. Spend my time with my family. Me and my family there at Jamaica. Enjoy my time. That's that's how I do it. Okay. Let's pick up back from your career. You win everything. You win under 20. You play under 20 for our view. You play yeah, under 20. Yeah, under 20. We win under 15 with our view. Yeah, so... We win under 17, under 20. We win under play, 21. And yeah. um, we win Premier League. Yeah. You win Premier League 2009, 2010. 2009, something like that. 2009, 2010. How much Premier League win you win? One win. No. One. One win. One Premier League. So you win Premier League 
Okay, we think two thousand nine. We think oh, when when what was you in Premier League after that? The, I think when I left school, two thousand thirteen, two thousand twelve, two or twelve or thirteen, we in Premier League. Oh, 12, oh, you sure? Oh, 12, yeah, I'm 13. positive. The last oh, okay. title them win, and I won them win. Okay. With Coach Vin Blaine as a coach. Yeah, sharp Vin Blaine. Yeah, Brown, Vin, Vin Blaine, we're not, we're not normally coach a woman team. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Thanks for that piece of information. Eh? But you're saying pick up back from where you say go to Vancouver, White Cap. You go to school. Oh, that come about. Um, you know, he's an agent from um agent from England. Um I can't remember, you know, I can never remember this guy first name. Um someone did a Alice name because him and my uncle him have the same um last name. But um apparently him um did him did need a left back because him and Vancouver did in a constant talking. Um you know Keaty Simpson. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently Keith seems to did there at Vancouver already with uh with with Denver Argyle. Yeah. Two of them did over there and uh, him actually did bring them. And like um the team did need a young left back and I think Keith mentioned my name to him. And then me, Ron Roy, and Jamie Hyde was a three away end up go. And we live in a Vancouver for like one year over there and we play everything and what actually made us return was Vancouver and Harbour because me and Jamie had a run where I was discussing the you know them that this Vancouver discuss to keep with you know to keep with but them and Harbour View they could have come together for the fee you know could have stayed on terms for the fee so that's how we end up, you know, come back because at the time, why Vancouver had to sign us it was because they was bringing us out the country. We were supposed to go to Spain to play a tournament with Vancouver Whitecaps, and in order for them, you know, to bring us to play the tournament, we had to be their players, you know, and then um, they they couldn't come together with with, with you know with a confirmed number, so you know we. We end up just you know come back. So in in June twenty fourteen, you went to um United States and child for two weeks in yeah. the M MLS club DC United. A two week or a week or one week or one week because we one did week. yeah one week and we did um we just come off a tour with um, reggae boys. We we'll go to Europe tour. They will play Switzerland and. Serbia, um, Serbia, and Egypt, France and Egypt. Yeah, we just come off of that tour. Eh? So, we come off of that tour, and we have a little um, hamstring injury. Not injury, we have a hamstring, like, we have a little sprain. You get what I say, but we did a recover. Not hamstring, grind. It was grind. We have a grind sprain. Because I hit me, we come off in a France game, because we never finished the France game because of it. But, anyway, um, reach Jamaica. The money that was major at the time called me, say, Come on, you know, DC want you to come trials. You get me? And me I say, The money after all of them game them play, we just play against all of them, all of, all of them top international team, we just play against them team. Why am I supposed to go for that trials? I said, Them can watch them game, they, they can decide from this if they want me or not. The man he said to me, say, oh, them just want to see if, see if, you know, you and the man them jail, you know, if you're cool, blah, blah, blah. Not really for training. I said, you know, my grind, my grind never ever recover to like an next full week or two week before my grind really recover. So, the man he talk and the man say, oh, go man, go man, tap man, because I'm calling me. And I said, man, go tap man, man, and see what go on. And I say, all right, it now nah, it won't kill for me. You know, real even though I'm really never interested, especially because I'm a grind. But I talk I end up talk to the coach and I say, you know, I really just want to see what I do amongst the team and you know. So I reach the first three day them. The only thing I do like a treatment 
watch team training, go back to my hotel. And then like the fourth day, I did feel good, so I'm going to some drill this summer. The fifth day, I'm do a full training. And the sixth day, I'm do a full training. Come to feel really good. So I'm do a couple full training. I'm going like, to say, all right, yeah. You know, I'm going to say, all right, we'll come spend some time with them on the last couple of days, then we'll feel good. We we'll give them a couple full training. And I'm say, yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to leave a good impression on them, you know. I said, them see me in other, in other big games, them and them see me now for themselves. I said, me and the coach have a good, good talk. I said, yeah, man, feel like I leave a good impression for them. But instead of coming to Jamaica, I end up going to Miami, I think, go look for uh, my brother, mother. I end up going to look for her and my daddy. And I wait for her some news, you know. I don't hear nothing. So I end up going to Jamaica the following week and just start playing Premier League. And that man is never really, that man is say, oh, them real, them are saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. So I did anger because. I know when I'm up, never want to go because I know this thing for happen. Like, you know, when them are, when when these teams are buying like a, a player from any other country, them just buy a player. They must try to bring over the player and trials or anything. This but, is yeah, but so when you're Jamaican, the mentality yeah. already different towards you. First thing they must say, oh, I'm going to pay him a lot of money, you know. And then, you know, the next thing I remember see what you have. You always have to try to prove yourself to these people when you're Jamaican. You know, but as soon as you hold a different passport and you them, could I never see a player yet? From the Mesa, Brazil you come from. Oh, from the Mesa, Mexico you come from. From the Mesa, South America you come from. Oh, they might get this whole heap of money and you can't do shit. You never see a player yet. But that are people and people mindset. You know, they always look down upon we Jamaican, somewhere or the other. You get what I say? So it really, really did piss me off. But, you know, it happened already or whatever the case may be. It's stronger and gig yeah. but motivation yeah. for the work back so over here. Two you. weeks after now. Two weeks after that. That one come back to me and I say, yo, Red Bull call and send them away for the trial. And I say, and we need it for go, blah, blah. I said, that one, I'm not going away. I said, I'm not go, brother. I tell her that straight up, I'm not going. I say any trials right now, I don't do no trials. Me go and play some Premier League, you know, and get myself ready for Jamaica game them or come up on any team with see me. I want to get me from there, get me from there. I don't go up on the trials. See him some time, so big man thing, I don't go. I say I just play against Serbia. I play all of them games, I start and finish. Yeah. And support, you know what happened when you play against these teams? No. Continue. No, what do you mean? What I'm lose against? Yeah, no, I was, I was, um, I was going to say something about. I was talking. I was going to talk about the the 2015 Copa, but oh, oh. when we get there, we we, we talk about. It. Yeah, so so, the result them never go our oh, way, yeah, but Jamaica play against like be a top ten team. Why do good? Good. It'll yeah. really good. Right after the World Cup too. Right after the yeah. World Cup 2014. Yeah. No, it was right before the World Cup. Yeah, the preparation to go into yeah, the 2014 it was the World preparation. Cup. I remember all of these teams are playing us because they are prepare for play. I think they have a Caribbean team or they are playing in them group. So they are play with because of this reason. You get what I mean? Yeah. So anyway, he called me and say, um, Red Bull. I say, yo, gee, nobody even start a conversation. Cause you know what I'm going to go. Anyway, my grandmother sit down and she overhear everything, you know, and she not say nothing. As soon as I come off my phone, she give me a look and she say, you know where I go? I'm mean, not no talking. Where you go? I'm going to show them something they never see it. Give them a different energy. Show them what, what. What real Jamaica player look like? Just go there and does your vibe, everything go there and bring it. Brother, I'm gonna go. And I swear, I'm gonna run them in the ground. I'm gonna stop run. Brother, I don't want to stop. If I tell him to stop run, he's a liar. I'm gonna stop run. I'm gonna run them in the ground. I'm gonna run, run. Brother, and the, the child was too weak. 
for the full two weeks to stay. And the day for me leave now, I pack my bag and everything, and I leave for go to Jamaica now, because I remember my flight set and everything. Man. So normally, all them things I got, think a coach that contact that man, that man contact you, you know, the agent that contact you and tell you exactly what happened. Anyway, I pack my bag for leave. I'm going to go down, go down um, in the lobby for, for say later to the coach and the staff because the coach and the staff are leave too. Everybody, them supposed to go to New York, me supposed to go to New York. I'm going to go downstairs and the coach say, Yo, come on, what's up? You good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm leaving. You know, I'm, I'm, I was just telling you guys, you know, you know, thanks for the opportunity. You know, really appreciate being here. You know, and I hope to see you guys soon. You know? He's like, hope to see you soon. What do you mean? He's like, you're the, you're, um, your agent in the call you? Yep. I'm like, no, nah, I'm coming for you. He's like, yo, you're coming to New York with us. Make sure you got, <laughs> make sure, make sure you got something to put on. You know, that can shield you from all this cold because it's freezing over there. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, bro. I'm, you know, I'm taking you back with us. I'm like, he's like, yo, I really like you. Think you're smart. Think you know how to do your thing, and you know. Let's, 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 I want to work with you. Brother, I'm here tell you, you know, I remember a Florida where I do pre, them, them I do pre-season at the time. So I'd be a t-shirt and I'm like, bag and short pants, you know. <laughs> Me no pa, no go for go back at New York. Brother, and it just, it end up, it work out. You get me? Right away, them sign me. Um, we go, New York. I did it, I bench the first game and um, the left back injury in the game. Not the first game. The left back injury ankle or something like that and did out for three weeks. And from I play the first game, brother, I'm going to bench the next game. I'm going to go back on the bench. After 10 games, after 10 or 11 games, I do a completely different contract. Wow. Completely different contract for three years. Wow. Yeah. That that that, that people them can tell you rest a story about my Red Bull life from this. Huh? Yeah. It makes some great impact in the MLS, man. Trust me. But you remember this date, right? March 22nd, 2015. You remember that date? March 22nd, 2015. 2015, 2015, 2015. Why that sound like I went to DC place? Huh? Make a debut, bro. A debut against DC. Now, DC, you remember the debut against them? Over at the rival, because you guys are rival. Yeah, man. Hey, you I guys are rival, and you guys <laughs> win 2 0. <nil, laughs> and... hey, my skin over there. Say, Jesus Christ, brother. Oh, brother. Brother, we tackle all the grass. I'm going to decide to not, not one person may I let by. Everything I move, I tackle it. Like the <laughs> and laugh. Everything I say, them coach come up on the field, I tackle it. Yeah. And after when I pass, after the game finished, the coach come to me and say, you're the biggest mistake I've ever made. Biggest. Really? The man, same man, coach? The same man come straight, man. Every year, when me and him meet, like the you have something up your sleeve, you you are show him say look where miss up. Here when me and him meet, him come to him and I say yo, him no, him no, no. way him do. But if him could I do it over again, I'm like too late. <laughs> yeah, brother, too late. Yeah, too late, brother. I'ma make sure. every time I play them, brother. I'ma make sure I say I'm dip on a different edge. And I think, and I think from me I play them. They only ever beat me once, if that much. I'ma play them over ten times. They only ever. They only ever. They only ever put in a strong performance, bro. Brother, after I read, I read, I read, I read, I read it, you know, bro. Brother, after that game, man, like the amount of interview I'm gonna do after that game is like, yo, know, different, brother. Yeah. That change, that change everything. Everything, brother. But I hear that, brother. I hear that it just, it is just fun, brother. For me, it's like, 
brother, you know, when you know me, I play and I enjoy football. See, spiritually, when my life feel like, yo, God, I lead me and everything good, and me and God in a connection with each other, I'm going to play a different, brother. You know, it, it brings you out a different, brother, because the first thing for me, you know, brother, anytime I pray and say before games, and just normally, brother, I'm like, Anybody can tell you, it's like always oh, God first, you know, and then anything after that, like family after that, you know, team after that. But it's always God first, brother. Isn't me? And, and that for me different, brother. You know, God made a mid side everything on me other than it just feel hopeless. Yeah. So you remember this date? 29 April 2017. You score. So, some like gold cup there. No nah, man, that's not gold cup, man. Not gold cup, man. And I'm gonna know the we not we not remember this thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I want to ask you still, because you get signed for Pepsi yeah. with um Lionel Messi and um also at the time you have um the defender from Real Madrid. Ramos. How that come about? Ramos. Um, to be honest, brother, um, remember that year that the year was a World Cup year. You get what me I say, and um, I never signed yet for Red Bull, but the year was a World Cup year. I remember Coca Cola basically had a face. A Pepsi. A Pepsi. No, Coca Cola was the face of World Cup that year. Then, not not uh, not Pepsi. Coca Cola was like the thing, you know, the whole the whole. The whole World Cup was like Coca Cola was doing everything for the them. main sponsor. Yeah, the main sponsor that year. So I, that year, I think Pepsi was just doing one of them things for like, you know, draw attention to themselves and them brand. You know, sure, say them have big players and big players, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's how that's how the whole Pepsi thing come in, and then they look to the whole Caribbean and them say, you know, which player really I do good right now, you know? Which young player, because they wanted a young young face, a young player, and I'm like, which player really I do this right now? Which player really I come up right now and, you know, who we can use? You know, and that's how they got in contact with um, Clyde Geraldine and Arborview about me, you know, and, you know, I went to meet with them and sat down you know, we had um, a conversation, you know, we had we had a meeting and, you know, the meeting well went well. You know, they like how I presented myself, how I spoke to them and, you know, everything just went, went right. My mistake, guys, I made a mistake. It was Sergio Aguero and Lionel Messi. Yeah. And Sergio. Taxi. So, yeah. how your nickname come about, Taxi? Same primary school coach, him give me that nickname. I never asked him why ever. He just would come in one day and he just start calling me taxi. I never ever asked him why. I never asked him why. But wow. X Man give me that name there and it just from him say the first time it stick. I mean, is that you, me? Anybody know me? Me hate nickname. Me hate nickname with a me hate nickname. I call me no blocks and them. So I call me no nickname. Call me by my name. Yeah, man, growing up, me hate nickname. I can't call if you call if you, you sit down there a whole day and I try to call me by a name, man. Me not even look for you. Me not answer. Me hate nickname, man. Me call me by my right name. Call me by the name of my mother and my father name. Me. You know, me like for be called by my name. Come in a call people with them name. Yeah. Call me by my name. But me say if I'm my, from my giving idea there, it just ring. I'ma love it too. I used to say, oh, you're fast like the taxi them from told. You know, I mean, it just used to ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, because uh, when yeah. when I hear that, I always it, it, it just always come to me, you know, like you know, cry passenger. Yeah. You know, especially the the um the commentator, they know yeah. you in in the MLS. They yeah. always say, listen, this man nickname is taxi. He don't cry passenger. Yeah, is that so? It's always you know something like that. People are put to it. And from me get the nickname, realize it's just unique, you know. So I say, you know, you know, make that one your stick. Yeah, but let us talk about the Jamaican national team. You have over fifty cap years 
done it for the reggae boys. You do it. Holy man, man, tell me this old. <laughs> Yeah, over, over thirty. I mean, I, I mean, I over thirty. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's still twenty eight. It's very young. You start at a young age, taxi. That's the thing. You yeah. start at a young age, and to get a senior call up, how you feel? Back them time day, brother. It, it, it just make you feel like you know. The hard work really, you know, pay off. You get what I say. Um, Sometimes these are the most um first frustrating part for like any human being, you know, for you constantly to work and work and work and work. And you feel like, you know, nobody now see the work where you are there. And you know, if you get that call up there, you just feel like, yo, finally, you know, somebody see, you know, somebody see me, me really at my, me, you know, me, me do the work. You know, so I just did really feel proud in a moment, but also just thankful. Like, thankful for life, thankful for my grandmother, thankful for my mom, thankful, you know, for God at that point, thankful for my teammate, them, you know, because they pushed me and it get me to that point. But also, I just say, yeah, well, I'm not look back, you know. God go, God go with any left back where I come. I look back. The whole the whole position I put myself. <laughs> Listen, bro, and up till now you're still holding, you know. Different from at the time, the left back we were going to give you a lot of problem. Um, he usually play for Stroke City, and he usually play for Waters. Them are Philip. Them are. You know, they might play that was play. the man at the time. I never me that be the problem for him because uh, him was the man. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the leader, the older guy, you know, him. It was really his position. It was my position. It was my me trying to get in, you know, for you know, for yeah. him problem. And you you hold it down, you know. Some people would say taxi is one of the best left back in Kankakov, you know. But when you look at. A lot of people say that. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. But he know, has he has put in the work in, in the Caribbean and in Kankakov to recognize. And this is why I want more um especially the United States commentator. They don't have no respect for the reggae boys, you know. When you look at our history and you look at our stats, look at the last four years. We have two runners up in the Kankakov, knockout, Mexico, knockout, USA, you know. They're trying to make it. I think 2015 or 2015, they write to you guys off and they want to set up a United States, Mexico final. Uh, and you guys just always are upset. But this is, this is, this is, it's okay for people to write you off, you know. You know, yeah. it's, you know, sometimes I don't get mad because they write, write yourself, you know. It just motivate me say no me go sure you say me really can beat the team and your team not as good as you think it might be my team better but you have things where stop us from reach with full potential which you guys will never have them problem yet the issues that we face as a team as a jamaican team us and mexico never face them there never we have to switch and we don't face none of them issues there. And we don't face them issues there. We're probably six in every time we see one of them. True. Bro, Jamaica is a force, bro. Our team is a force, bro. Our team is so good and can be so much better. What about 2015 Gold Cup that you guys just so wear black? And a lot of people say you guys just want to beat the United States, but you went to the final against Mexico and you didn't put out your best. Many people said that, but I think you guys did it your best. And when you just come up against a very good Mexico team at the time in the peak, and you know it's very difficult to play against Mexico. For me, people, a lot of people were saying, you know, most of you guys was in the MLS. You guys have something you want to beat the United States, but. Part of it, you know, I would say, you know, somewhat, you know, they, you know, a lot of it can be right, because when when you play against players and you hear or you know you you listen to them talk about them and 
oh them wool, oh them value them up here. So I'll be like, yo, well he's not all that. Last week we play against him. You get me and the way the way all US commentators talk about them team and yeah. this that brother you that think he yeah, go up against Brazil. <laughs> you, you know because a fox the way them talk about but in our in our way it's so good for the US players them because them know them have what them know them have people have them back. Mm. You get me? Them have back it if them have people with care with dead we where passionate about the country, but where them are do. You get me? But for we is like yo, yeah, well I call it so good, I got sure on to say we can be it, you know. You get me? And you, you said it, you know, a lot of people say you have a lot of us that played in MLS. Yeah, you have a lot of us who play in MLS and it make us it make us even more angry. You know, I even want it more to beat them so we can show our worth in the league. You get me and say, with Mexico, it wasn't as much as that rivalry. You get what me and say? With yeah. US, it's like a fire burning and everybody did the rivalry. You know, we need for win. With Mexico, it was just like, yo, a finals. You see me? We need this. We need to win the final. Yeah. You get me? But you know when 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 it's a rivalry, it's different. A rivalry is always like the biggest finals you ever play. You don't need nothing to make a rivalry special. Yeah. That motivated that fire. From your ear, the two team them are go together. You're ready from the day when them just said the two team them are go together. Yeah. You get me? So you don't really need no extra motivation for that at all. It's not like you need motivation for your finals either, but it was just different and you know, feel like the Mexican team just outplay with that day. You know, simple as that, you know, you know, we feel like we had chances where we could uh, you know, score and lead the game, but you know, we know football at the end of the day is a game of opportunities and if you don't take care of and a man take feel what it lead to. You get me, and we, we make a 2015. If you look on the goals of them score and the mistake we made, like we make some schoolboy error. Yes, yes. Them, we, we, we made some schoolboy errors that cost us that game, yes. you know. But it's just the same as we win as a team, we lost as a team, man. Yeah, nobody never point them finger, nobody never, you know, too angry. You know, all the players feel a little bit angry, but nobody never angry. At, the next man, we just angry so we lost when we could have bring finally for the first time in our history bring this cup home to Jamaica. Definitely. And I don't in, before that Jamaica ever go a Gold Cup finals. No, semi final. Yeah. So we have we you know we as a team we done something new. You get me? I say something. So we were just looking at it like yo the next step you know the next step is winning not really going to the finals but winning it. In that same year, you guys play in the Copa America. That was a very good experience for the Jamaican team. Come up against some of the best team in the world. I was player mad. like Lionel Messi and all of these What's the upper, oh, 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 you feel about that tournament? Um, that, I, I think, look, hold on. I am a Liverpool supporter. I want to ask you this. Um, I want, just let, let's be honest. Um, at the time we're coming out, report has been coming out of England, especially in Liverpool. At the time, Liverpool were want a left back, and most people said in England said Liverpool link it. Is that true or the only yeah. line? Don't hear about that. You know, we about that. But did the only team um we did we did link with two team where we would have try to get something done. It was um um Leicester the year them win the year that we win and um. What's the team name where we're black and white again? Um, black and white. Yeah. Newcastle. Those are the only two teams in Lincoln and England where we actually see paperwork and, you know, something we're trying to get done. I wasn't... Any other thing here, you are probably just like... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was buzzing at the time. I was buzzing at the time because at the time, you're in your peak. You know, you were playing excellent, you know, tournament after tournament, they put in some very good performance and the door were hoping in 2015, 2014. I think 
this is when Kemal Lauren burst on. Yeah, burst on the scene, but they put on some very good performance, especially in that Copa America down in, I think in, in Chile or Uruguay or yeah. Argentina, one of them. Yeah. And yeah. you know, that tournament got me mad. Like, I was so angry, like, during the tournament and after. I was so angry. Um, because I, I felt a sense of we we as you know as a country as a team you know i felt a sense of okay you know we're doing good but we lost each game one zero mm. all of these games you know we lost them one zero all of these games we had two or three opportunities to score especially argentina one bro all of these games we had two or three opportunities to score but just inside the team, I felt like it, it was just, you know, we did good against, you know, a top five team, you know, a top seven team. We did good against these teams. You know, these teams are top. It wasn't a case where we want to win. We want to beat them. Show them, say, we can beat them. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. then we went back to Chile. Like, after that, and we beat up Chile. Chile, in a yeah. You get what I'm saying? I say like, what if a mentality is always like this? And would they bring anybody come, especially bring them to Jamaica? I want to see what I'm You see the Chile team at the time just win back to back Copa America. I had a strong Chile team, I had a Chile team with everybody on it. Brother, you know what? Brother, you know where I run Sanchez, I kick him down. Brother, when I tell you, brother, me, me, I play the game, but you know as a player, you watch the game, brother. Brother, I bought four man I tackle out my Sanchez, you know, because the man them besides him, nah, get away, you know? Yeah. Brother, brother, what? When they look back, bro, it's just like, you know, you have some memories where, you know, money can't buy certain things, brother, you get me, and then you never dedicate yourself and put yourself in a position, you know, and really sit down and pray and ask God for deliver the things, yeah. You would, you would actually feel feel it, you know. You would actually can live it out, you know. You would actually be able to tell your kids about it. And when I sit down, especially you know, this year, 2021, and I look and I say, shit, 2022, next year, you know. You know what that means? Man's a girl, you know, and you can stop. You know, you start that. You want to look at vibes to yourself and more time, you know, you, you call you, you call a Fleming's or... You get me a call a Leon or a Bozo. Nice. You get me a call a Leon or a Bozo and you and him all day there, you know, and I say, dog, next year, World Cup, you know, we can't miss it, you know? <laughs> you see me, and you start to have this conversation with your teammate, and I'm going to say, yeah, man, if you look for our squad right now, our squad tough, you know, and you know, say, the, the band there, you there? Yeah, man, you there, man. Yo, man. You hear me? Yeah, man. I hear you, man. Continue. I don't know. One man just press. You hear me? Yeah, man. I hear you, man. Hold on. Here you go again, guys. Last camera lines. Taxi. Monday called Taxi. Very good interview so far, guys. I super, super enjoy it, man. So let's bring back Taxi in. Yeah, I'm a fool and I did that at me just now. I did just realize it. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm a fool and just I did that at me. I just realize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so me and say, brother, when you go up on the phone and you and the man them still don't attack and you did it and you don't have a vibe on, you know, if a man say, yo, look for our team, brother, our team, wicked, you know, our team, I come together, you know, the fool, you come together, you know, but it, it's tough. You know, you did it and you attack and you say, yo, I'm going to do it, you know. You know, I'm going to take 98 out of people them brain and give them 2022 yeah. to talk you know. You see me, not say, uh, not say nothing. 98 was the greatest thing for you, but want to give the people them something new to talk yeah, about. Remember, you know, we, have, we don't have the inspiration from 98, you know. We do, you know, no people like we, we talk to Bibi them. Especially with that Jamaica, we see Bibi them always a reason with Bibi them. You get what I say? Wow, yeah. we're with stupid them. 
you see me pepe the whole of them man there are people who know people where as young you would them give Ooh. them show respect them show a whole heap of love you get me and them show we are we we have the coach already we're there they would do every day and i say hey, i saw it did feel in a taxi don't worry i said so no every day we sit down and we're like yo want it want it but you know yeah the little distraction them are pulled away from it you get what me i said the little distraction them just a pull away from it and we say yo we have to get them distraction out of the way if you achieve the goal you get what me i say we have to get them distraction out of the way if you achieve a goal we can't get to the goal with them distraction the distraction them too much you get what me i say and and we day and we try to get things right with JFF man. I say JFF work. We do no man. We see it, you know. Yeah. We no problem every, not see every, it. We see listen, it, you know. Listen, listen. The fans them believe it, bro. The fans them believe it. I do many many video and I said yes. I respect ninety eight, but new generation want something, you know. For my kids, them can see you listen. We get the holiday. Ah, you know? brother, you see me? You want something? You know, peep. You want can when they go up on the corner and the youth them say, yeah, I say, yo, you no can do this next. You know, see it there. A four year ago, we do it in a full the time, mm -hmm. brother. Because we said this and people think me a joke. Me I say, and next year, me retire from international football. I say, yo. I hear you said that. You, you're really serious about that? Yeah, man. Me retire. Me retire next year from international Whether we we'll go to the World Cup or not. we we'll go and go to the World Cup or not. Next year, will be my last year in international football. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to give my time. I'm going to do, me do the best what I can do. You get what I say? While I'm at my youngest, I'm a fittest, I'm do it. You get what I say? I feel like I really just want to devote um, the next couple of years of my life just to club football, just to really play and win some championship for whichever team I'm there. 